Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Talk One Twit, and today we are going to be checking out Audio Hijack. So this is a really cool app that allows you to do tons of stuff with the audio that goes into your computer. So for example, you can record audio from an application. You can record audio from microphones. And you can also do a couple of things with the output as well. So we're going to take a look at all of that in this video. So first, this is the main page of the app. These are your sessions, that they call them. Um, these are just different presets that you have saved that you can go back to easily. So I can quickly record my audio from Chrome and I don't have to create a new session. Under recordings, these are all of the recordings that you have done before. Um, and it will show you a bunch of this stuff. And then I can expand that. I can add different information. And we can also get some actions. I'll reveal and find your open an editor, um, add it to iTunes and share it. Um, so that's that's really nice as well. Under schedule, you can do different schedule and timed ones if you prefer that. But it's just really easy to start recording right away. But let's take a look at some of the presets and default under new session. Um, these are ones that they suggest that are really cool. Um, so we have blank session. We'll do that in a minute. We can do application audio. So record any application's audio. Record the audio from a DVD or an analog record or your system audio or um, your voice chat or something from a web browser. We can also increase the volume. And this is one of the things I talked about for output. Uh, if you run this action, then it, while it's running, it will make sure that the audio is louder um, while you're playing it. We can also do a couple of post-production things, which is pretty cool as well. You can um, improve audio. So what you do is you kind of just run this little um, session, and while it's running, all the audio that's played in your computer will sound better. It doesn't actually affect the file itself, just audio going straight to your headphones or speakers. Um, these two are probably my favorite things. And after recording audio from an application, this is my favorite thing with Audio Hijack. And this is the ability to record with a microphone. You can do it with a lot of stuff, but you can have an input device and you can even have a different preset for a podcast. This doesn't seem very interesting, but it really, really is because this is the only application that allows you to record from two microphones at once. If you have a mixer, then you can do that. But I have a USB microphone that you hear right now. And if I have another microphone, so if I'm doing a podcast, I can bring up a second guest. They can have their own microphone. We don't have to share one. And... If it's all going through USB, there's no way to record the audio of two microphones at once except for this app. So let's go ahead and create a new blank session. We'll hit choose. And in here, we have a couple of controls. This is where you can run your thing, um, time, and then um, right now it says it's stopped. We can also have quick access to our recording schedule and we can hide the library, same stuff up here. Let's create a really quick one. I want to show you how you can record audio from two devices at once. So I can bring in an input device and they have a bunch of different little options. We'll go over that in this video. Um, so I'll do my Yeti stereo microphone. We're also going to bring in a second microphone and we just drop that in. You can move it around. It's kind of cool. We click it once we get some options. So I'm going to do my display audio. I have the Thunderbolt display has a microphone, so we can do that. We have a couple of advanced options, like doing a left and right channel, and we also have some different presets. We can also turn it on and off. Now, we're going to want to have an output. What is the audio from these two things going to do? So if we're doing a podcast, we're gonna to wanna to record. So I just bring in a recorder, and I can go ahead and add different um, file settings, as well as kilobits per second, stereo, file type, that sort of stuff. As you can see, it creates a nice diagram and automatically sets up. So you can see the Yeti microphone and the display audio are going to go into the recorder. And then I will have both 
right here, which is really cool. Now, I can also have some different effects. So we can do some balance, um, bass and treble. So I can put that right in front of here. So audio has to pass through that, which will raise the bass up, which will then put it to the recorder. We have some advanced things like ducking, sync, time shift. Um, we have meters. So I can view the meters of these two devices. So I can put it right here, but maybe the bass will bring up the levels too much. So while I'm recording, I can view levels, which is really cool as well. And then we also have some audio unit effects, um, different ones that are built into the operating system of the computer. Um, and some of the similar things that you find in like Final Cut Pro and Adobe Audition, just different ones that will change the tone of your recording. But after that, I can now hit the record button and it will record audio from the Yeti stereo microphone and the microphone on my Thunderbolt display, raising the bass up 22, and I'll be able to monitor, making sure that nothing peaks, everything looks really good. Also, recording audio from an application is another great thing. I absolutely love it. Um, just really easy to get audio. I absolutely love that. And also the ability to record two microphones. It's the only way to do it, and it's super good. But that's going to do me for this video. If you're interested in checking out the app, I'll drop a link down in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. That's going to do me for this video. Hit that subscribe button, like, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.